Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome on the Culture News. My name is David Sarivo, and I have the pleasure today to have on iHeartRadio a very, very talented composer. His name, ladies and gentlemen, is Living Force. He's a wonderful composer, and we're going to play one of his tracks. That is called, ladies and gentlemen, House of, sorry, House Targaryen. Uh, this is from his new album called Game of Thrones Timelines. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, the very talented composer, Living Force. How are you today, sir? I'm doing great. How are you, David? I'm very, very happy to have you over the phone. So, first of all, congratulations for your great music and your success. And first of all, I would like to know where are you from and how did you start to do music in the first place? Okay. I'm from the northeast of the United States. I'm from the Philadelphia area. Uh, I was born in New Jersey, and uh, I've been raised in New Jersey, but most of my family is from Philadelphia. And uh, I started uh, doing music uh, when I was around 18. So I started uh, learning uh, composition, music theory, piano, and it's taken me to this point at this at this point in time. And w- what do you like so much about um, composing um, these beautiful song tracks instead of, I don't know, writing songs for singers, by example? Uh, <clears throat> with instrumental tracks, you don't necessarily need words to convey emotion. And I've always... Uh, I've always found that interesting. So I, I listened to the stylings of Phil Glass and John Williams and James Horner. And when I was a child, I always noticed that their their songs, their work, never had any uh, any lyrics to them. So I always found it fascinating that they were able to tie an emotion without saying a single word. So I try to put that into my music. And you are doing that uh, very, very beautifully. And I love the idea that you say you don't need the words and you can bring the emotions through the music. It's a beautiful way of um, of, of, of saying that. So um, how would you qualify your your music? Would you say it's a, it's a soundtrack? Would you call it instrumental music? I would say it's uh, more of classical contemporary, closer to a soundtrack. Yeah, definitely. I love the idea of a classical contemporary. Uh, so... Um, so now tell us about this album of yours that is called Game of Thrones Timelines. Can you tell us what influenced you to do this amazing album? Well, uh, as a, a fan of, of the series and of, of the, the literary works, I always try to imagine a soundtrack playing when I when I read the, the books. So I wanted to tell a story uh, thematically from the start uh, which would be uh, from the series itself, uh, the children of the forest to the last victory, uh, which is the last name of the track. And uh, the the author of the Game of Thrones mentioned that victory is dependent on who won the battle. So we don't necessarily will know who wins the battle. It'll be from their perspective. So I try to tell a complete story from A to Z of the of the saga using different uh, different cadences, using different emotions, instrumentation, uh, try to make uh, each important time or each important event in the timeline match a particular piece without necessarily, necessarily having to need a video representation. So when I think of a, a story, I try to automatically put, put it to a scene where there could be in a movie or it could be on a TV show. That's how I, that's how my mind works when it comes to composition. I always try to put myself in the character and then put myself into the music. And you're doing that really beautifully. So now let's talk about this track that we, we are going to play today. That is yes. called House Targaryen. First of all, yes. uh, Targaryen, let me try for you. T-A-R-G-A-R-Y-E-N. Uh, yes. w- what does it mean exactly? Um, uh, they're one of the, in the, in the story, it's one of the oldest houses in, in, in Game of Thrones. So I try to think of old classic, uh, with piano and strings. So I wanted to go, uh, I, I wanted to really convey the idea of 
an elegant time before we we got to the the more common themes that we see with the the, the literary works that have been released and the television show. So when I think of old medieval era, I think of uh, classic instruments such as, such as strings and and bass and voice because those were common instruments at the time. So I wanted to make it familiar, but I also made the track uneasy uh, with some of the, the the chord progressions, which would be uh, a little bit of a, a jazzy feel to it with a suspended fourth, flat seven. So I try to make it familiar, but also uneasy because medieval periods in general were uneasy times. So I try to convey that in my track. And and you are doing that again beautifully. Sorry to repeat myself, but it's really uh, a music that you know you you kind of forget everything that that you're doing. I'm I'm wondering uh, when you write that music, are you in the same state of mind than the one who is listening to it, like at peace? Yes, definitely. I find yeah, because, a lot yeah, of solace ahead, doing. Oh no, uh, thank you. I find a lot of solace when I, I write music. Uh, I become the music in the, in the sense where I become so ingrained with it, it becomes a part of myself. Uh, and then I try to also think of the time of where that particular person would be uh, when my music is being played or created. I try to put myself in that time frame. Um, so it's uh, very, very relaxing. And it really is. It really is. And, uh, you know, one thing that I always say is that the music always reflects uh, the soul of the person. And when we have you on the phone and we listen to your voice, we we we, hear, we are at peace, you know. Oh, <laughs> thank you, are you very much. Spoken and and, and you're, you're very, very intelligent. So it, it reflects definitely your in your music. Uh, I had always this teacher who said, if you're a nice guy, you have a nice voice, you know. So, <laughs> yes. So definitely, um, you, you're doing that. So before we start to say goodbye to each other, before we start to play uh, this wonderful track called "House Targaryen" from your album, um, I would love to know what are your next projects. Uh, my next project would definitely be in the science fiction fantasy realm. So I'm already starting to do a project of Star Trek timelines. That's the tentative title, which will start from the beginning of the Federation into the future. So I will try to capture all the major events of Star Trek in the same pattern that I did for Game of Thrones timeline. Well, that's my next project. Wow. And we will definitely be supporting you and be talking about you and, and definitely play your music. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is David Cerebro. I had the pleasure to have today on iHeartRadio, the very talented composer. His name is Libing Force, L-I-B-I-N-G Force, all in one word. Where where the name comes from, by the way? Big, I'm a big John Williams fan, and that's one of the... Uh things I remember most, uh, the first piece of Star Wars music I heard was the Force theme. So it kind of stuck with me, the living force. And definitely the Force is with you. <laughs> <laughs> is with you. The music is with you. This wonderful composer, Libing Force, right now from his new album called Game of Thrones Timeline, the very talented artist, as I said, live in course, presenting House Targaryen. More music to come, and of course, the track, House Targaryen, the album, are available on all the streaming platforms, including iTunes, Amazon, Deezer, and of course, our dear friend um, on all most streaming media. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, House Targaryen. Stay tuned for my music on iHeartRadio. Radio. 